Hello YouTube, Al here, and this week we're going to be taking a look at the Boss DS1. So, this is a very, very well-known distortion pedal. Uh, it's been around since, I think, the late 70s. It's a staple in the Boss line of their little compact pedals. It's got three controls. It's got a level, which is how... Sorry, it's got a level here, uh, which is a weird place to put it, which is how loud the pedal is. You've got a tone, and you've got a drive, which is how much gain you're given. Now, this is a bit weird because I've got the SD one, the Super Overdrive one, and that's got the tone in the middle and then drive and uh, level either side. So it's a bit weird to have a, this different layout with the level on the smaller knob in the middle. Just something I've noticed. I've not plugged this in yet. I got it off Fleabay for about 30 quid. Um, let's see if it makes noise. Okay, so the guitar I'm using is my Charvel Model 2. Heavily, heavily modified. It's got a Bernacle War Pig as the pickup. I'm using my orange micro tar going through a Marshall 412 because why the hell not? Here's my clean tone, it's not core split. <laughs> So, so everything is at 12 o'clock on the DS1, let's turn it on, I don't know if this is going to work. It works! So, it's going to turn up to about one o'clock. down to a quarter of the way up, let's see how it sounds.
distortion? No. <laughs> on the SD1 for a second, the SD1, it's quite similar. It does have a similar mid-range thing, even though it's obviously an overdrive rather than the DS one, which is a distortion. I mean, I know it's a distortion, but it does have that sort of girth to it and not that sort of spikiness like the, the uh, MXR Dime Distortion has. Um, the Metal Zone does have a bit, let's be fair. It still feels full and thick and it still feels girthy. It still feels... I don't know, it still feels really full and thick. So, let's put the gain up to halfway. We'll leave the tone where it is for the moment, about one o'clock. <laughs> There's no sort of harshness, there's no... It's not like the G string and that are sticking out like a sore thumb. It all sounds like one guitar. <laughs>
No. Turn up. settings I had on the boost going into the the metal zone and the metal zone I mean Christ if you heard it with the boost on it sounded bloody mega it really did the metal thing sort of the mastodon thing and the periphery thing I can't do it but you know it did that sort of tight metal bastard sound um, the DS1 feels a lot more like a traditional overdrive to be honest it, it feels kind of less gainy a little bit more spongy um, quite tubish in a way when you hear, you know, rattly, that sort of... Jesus, it sounds good though. It's not as tight. But clearly it has its uses. So let's pop the gain up to three quarters of the way. Even with this guitar with a high output pickup into a 
let's be honest, I mean, it's, a, it's an orange amp, it's not exactly Fender Clean, it sounds alright. Actually, speaking of Fender Clean, I have the Joy American sound, it makes it sound American, like a Fender, so... a look at the boss ds1 a pretty ubiquitous distortion pedal do you know what i really like this i really like this, this i really like this as a, as a distortion pedal um many distortion pedals have tried a la metal zone a la dime distortion which I, I, don't, I can't find the dime distortion but it's there somewhere they're very scooped um more than scooped really ignore that um they've got massive eq range on them it's, it's more they're they're very tight and in that respect, it's very difficult to get them to, to thicken out and to have that slight sponginess to the to the way you pick them. Uh, this doesn't do that. This feels a lot more like a traditional overdrive. It feels a lot more open. It's still got that sort of spanky... It, it's kind of like pickups. If a... To me, if an overdrive is an Alnico pickup, a distortion is a ceramic. What I mean is it's more aggressive in the gain structure, it's more clear, it's more crisp. But this still has quite a lot of body to it, which makes it feel quite overdrivey. Um, I would be happy using this, for example, for a, a rhythm sound most of the time. With the Metal Zone, I preferred this stacked with other things, so I think I'd use that more as a lead boost rather than as a main rhythm sound. This feels a lot more amp-y. Um, it doesn't feel as as compressed as sort of tight when it when it is on so it's definitely more of a rhythm thing than a lead thing for me or rather if you're doing modern metal you want tight sounds this is more the sort of thing you'd want to go for this sort of thing not necessarily this but more in this area this really is the classic rock um grunge 
I mean, everyone and their mum knows Nirvana used one of these. I, I dare say, I, you can think of five players I can't think of who have used one of these. They're, they're very, very, very common. I was quite surprised that even with the distortion on naught, it still sounded quite distorted. Um, I thought there'd be a lot, a lot, kind of more, a lot, a lot of gain on tap, but I thought there'd be quite a wide range there. So I think it still really is basically a distortion overdrive pedal. It's a bit of a shame that, you know, you can't clean it up to, to that degree. It just, just for having the option, to be honest, I was just curious to see what it did. And not much different from what it normally does is the answer. Uh, the settings I ended up using is everything pretty much at 12. I had the turn ever so slightly over to about one o'clock. I tend to do it with pretty much all my overdrive pedals, weirdly enough, just where they all seem happiest. But there you go. Um, I really like this. I'm actually, I'm actually quite impressed. You hear a lot about Boss pedals. I mean, they've been around for decades and, you know, I don't even look twice when I see a Boss pedal. They're just so part of the furniture. But recently I thought, you know what? There probably is a reason they're pretty good. And I've had a couple of Boss pedals before and they were all right. They were okay. I had the CE5 and I had the FZ5. That was a fuzz. And I did not like the fuzz and I sold it. And then I got a different mini chorus pedal, which I preferred to the Boss, and I sold that one. But do you know what? I might be back on the Boss train, because the SD one, I really like, and the DS one, I really like. Do you know what? I like the Metal Zone as well, and I'm not ashamed. So, thank you very much for watching. My name's Al. Like, subscribe, all that nonsense, and I'll see you next week. Bye! Bye!